Uh, here it is, dimensional crystals. A lot to explain from here as this, to it how is this so is much. created. And, there is um, so much to this. Yeah. I'll try to do my best of explaining everything without covering any of the screen so you guys don't are we see are my head. Are we doing that? Are we catering? Like, like you guys don't see me like um, just like uh -huh. covering this part up. That's right, Joel. Yeah, like I, I, I won't cover it. Up. I won't cover it up so uh, you guys can see the empty crystal that's next to my head. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, so what's gonna what's gonna happen is that dimensional crystals they are pretty much they will probably be referred to as the pink crystals for most people. The what crystals? Pink crystals. Yes. Uh, it's, it's the primal grade crystals that can be that can be that can be obtained only through crafting. And um, they're no joke. And they're quite strong. And how strong they are, you guys will probably understand uh, from the ingredients that is needed to that are needed to create one of this. It's so many. Yeah. First of all, if you look right here. Oh. Uh, oh. Right here. Oh, if, if you look right yeah. here, uh, it tells you that you need 15 red. 15 abyssal crystals. Yeah. 15 abyssal crystals. So uh, probably a lot of you guys have gotten abyssal crystals in the past and some of them are at AP, right. Every some, now of, and then. some of them are DP, and you guys equip that with no hesitation. Uh, but some of them might be HP, attack speed, movement speed, and so on. And sometimes you guys don't really feel the need to use that. And if you guys have some left over, some left over, you can use 15 of those. I don't know how long it's going to take you to get 15 of the uh, useless uh, abyssal crystals in your perspective, uh, so you will use that as an ingredient, 15 abyssal crystals. Then you will need, if, I think Tim's right here, yeah. Am I in the, Yeah. Do you uh, want me if to? you just duck a little bit? Hiya. Yeah. yeah. Dimensional fragments. Dimensional fragments. <laughs> this, is, this is super pro right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> 25, 25 dimensional fragments. Uh, and uh, these are, these are new types of uh, new types of uh, materials that are made just for crafting uh, dimensional crystals, and I will talk to you about more ways to get them. There will be some ways uh, that you can acquire there, and one of the key ways to get them is through an event that will be started today. So keep your eyes on that one. And this last bit of item that's next to Tim's right shoulder, if you want to just like. Uh, no, oh, the, that is my right shoulder. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. If you if you just want to scoot no, to the left. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the crone stones. You guys haven't seen that in a while. Uh, you probably have a just like few of them kind of stashed up in the on on your storage. Um, but yeah, crone stones are now they're they're actually now relatable. They're actually worth and doing quite something. Quite necessary. Yeah, and you need thousand of them. Is that what it says? Yeah, you need a thousand, a thousand. of them to as the third ingredient. Uh, to get this. So crone stones, you can get them, uh, you, you can get them, I think, also through the events as well. So we're, uh, Yeah, the, the we have events, well. we have other things coming up. Yeah, that will allow you to get more crone stones. Get so uh, another thing, another thing about the dimensional crystal that, uh, dimensional fragments that I forgot to mention, uh, is that you can get those through absorbing, absorbing abyssal grade yeah. equipments uh, to your black spirit. So in addition to you getting um, experience, Black Spirit experience, in addition to you getting uh, the what you call it, the the magical essence. Mm -hmm. No, 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 the, the magical residue. In addition to getting the magical residue, you will also get uh, these dimensional fragments as well. So that's another way you can get it. And the last bit, the empty crystal. Uh, I I need to read all the notes just to make sure that you guys get this right. You missing um, one thing? Yeah, the empty crystal, you can get it through Gervais. The, the Gervais is shop. Gervais. And, uh, with the dark coins, so you can you choose to get uh, world boss fragments from Gervais, but you can also choose to get empty crystals from her right. as well. Purchasable in the market. Yeah, in so purchasable. Market. Is it he? Gervais? Gervais look like a girl. Oh, no, Gervais and Genova are similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're yeah, sisters, yeah. sisters looking, yeah. Okay. So that's it, and you guys will understand that all these materials are not going to be uh, gatherable in the first day of play. Uh, this will come with time, and for that, this is this is the one thing I think that's really good about the dimensional crystal is that the RNG is really not that big of a factor because you are guaranteed 
uh, certain category of stats once you go into it. Yeah. Uh, basically, the only only thing that really differs is whether you want an Owl Sector, you want a Labrieve, Serret, or a Heap. Other than that, the, the core stats that you can get uh, are definitely set in stone. So you don't have to worry about using all those materials to get one dimensional crystal that you will have no use for. All dimensional crystals will be very useful. Yeah, so all the available stats that you're going to see when you click on the dimensional crystal item, uh, when you click on it in this crafting screen, it'll show you all the stats you can get plus mm -hmm. the ranges. The only RNG is the, the stat number. ranges. Yeah. Um, but you are going to get every stat that's there. Yeah, so you get this stat, you'll get this stat, you'll get this stat, but the number range in what you will get will be indicated on your yeah. items. But even the number ranges aren't that big. They're not bad. Even the lowest one is really pretty, it's yeah. still pretty good. It's still much better. Yeah. So that's the dimensional crystal. So it's pr pretty, pretty easy, pretty, pretty easy in terms of how to get this. Uh, but it will take time. It, it definitely is not a day one sort of thing. So be sure to work towards it. And I will show you guys many ways that you can get this. So let's go to the next slide and show you more about it. All right, so the next one is a thing that may seem like we already know what this is. What, what are you trying to say, Joel? Like, what, are you, what, what are you getting at? Um, so this is the Lightstone tablet. We've had Lightstones. We've had a tablet in the yes. past, but now we have multiple tablets. Now this is tablet number one, and in your in your option is as an optional choice. You can get tablet number two and tablet number three uh, through the pearl shop through I think through silvers and black pearl purchases. Super cheap. Super cheap, and you, yeah. you, you can get it through the pearl shop uh, with the silver purchase with a black pearl purchase, and totally gatherable. And uh, that's number two and number three. You can get it, but why I feel like you don't even need number two and number three for most people is that number one getting a big change. It's a big change. Uh, this tablet, the number one tablet, will not will no longer be character based. It will be completely family based. So if you have four, four really great abyssal lightstones, that will now cover your entire family yeah. rather than one character at a time. And there that's been, a good change. And there have been abyssal lightstone gifts in the past mm -hmm. and events. So mm -hmm. If you have any of those, now you can put those towards your entire family. Yeah, so that number one tablet you see right there, past him, the, right there. Way past me. Yeah, yeah uh, so you, the, what you see there, the, the light stones that are equipped to it, you'll see, those same, you'll see that same set apply for all of your characters. So that will be really good. Oh, and also, um, for anyone that's worried, uh, now that the first tablet's going to be family shared. Mm -hmm. uh, in case anyone's worried about having good tablets on a bunch of different characters, they are going to be auto unequipped and sent back to your mail. You're not going to oh, lose yeah, anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that. So if you had like six characters and they all, they all like really great, uh, really great light stones, it will be unequipped via the game, via the system, and everything will be sent back to you in the mail. So be sure to check that out um, once you get back into the game. And just log back in and uh, check your mail. Pick and the best uh, ones. And all your tablets are there, and your family will be good to go. Now you can choose the exactly the four light stones that you really, really like, and have those stats be completely viable for your entire family. So that's really good. All right. So that that's I'm sure that's a good news for everyone. And I think we can go up to the the next slide. Let's go with the next. One. Wow, that was a slide motion. Thank Whoa. you, producer. That was graphics that were was done. Great. All right. So here it is. Um, the, you guys are probably gonna meme at us once again, saying, "Why is Field of Valor not permanent? Why?" We feel uh, it. We feel it too. And another group of memers uh, will probably say, "Hadoom is pretty much the Field of Valor permanent edition. Why do we need Field of Valor when we already have enough experienced sorters?" That's a good question. That's a good question, but the, the, the answer to that lies behind Tim's head. Oh, man, my head is just causing all kinds of problems yeah, today. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so the thing that was previously behind Tim's head uh, is, dim well, you, can, you don't have to cover that one. That, that one is literally... Just trying to make people happy, Joel. Uh, that's all right. I mean, it's hard to make people happy these days. Uh, so, so what we got as one of the rewards that you can get, as I explained earlier, 
are dimensional fragments that are needed to uh, create uh, dimensional crystals. So dimensional yes, fragments can be gathered. Yeah, you can gather them through there. And also you can get abyssal crystals from Field of Valor. My head is a rare drop. Yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> Tim's head is a rare drop. But I, I think um, this, this Field of Valor was designed so that it's not all that difficult to gather um, dimensional fragments and, dimension, uh, and the abyssal crystals. You guys might see it more often than you're probably used to. Uh, so just because it's an abyssal item, it's like, oh, we're not going to give it to you. It's not like that. The, the rates, are, I think, are actually pretty viable. So it's the thing where you're going to feel the valid not just for the experience anymore, but you're actually going in there for the rewards that you can get. And you do see that the, the, the indicator tells you that these are available rewards of, upon defeating bosses. So you defeat one small catfish man, that will not give you a, a dimensional fragment. You have to defeat the big catfish man at times. Yeah, the and boss, the boss of the boss. Yeah, and if you go to Highlands, which comes up completely periodically. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so but, as always, they are they are the Highland maps with Highland three being the highest. Seventy two hundred CP shouldn't be a problem for a lot of people, but if it is a problem for you, you can track down a little bit high, a little bit lower, and that's completely fine with you. And you can also get a lot, a decent amount of silver, but also you can do that in Hadoom. But anyway, so this is a, an event. Mostly designed so that you can try to get these two items, the abyssal crystals and uh, obviously the, 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 the dimensional fragments. So I think that's also clear with the highest Highlands level being 7200 CP. Yeah. Trying to make it accessible to as many yeah. people as possible. And 7200, I believe, in this current age is not that high. But once again, if, it, if 7200, you, if you're not there yet, you can definitely go lower and it's completely fine. So that is Field of Valor, and yes, it is an event. Uh, let me look at the date. I, I did write that down in my notes. What is it, two weeks? I think two weeks, yeah. I think it was two weeks. Let me just go to it real quick. I have to go up again. Uh, scrolling in 2020. Jeez. <laughs> Why do we scroll mm, anymore? Yeah, I know. It should be all automatic. Um, yep, until December 8th. So I think that is indeed... No, I think that's one week. No, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. It was two Most weeks. definitely two. Yeah, two weeks, two weeks for Field of Valor events. So that's going to happen. And how you can get into Field of Valor, obviously, with the entry coins and all that, we'll get through that in a different slide. So let's go to the next slide and see what we got. So here's the first event that we will discuss. And you can see that pretty much you already see the, the, the basic requirements of you entering the Field of Valor is going to be through that token of Valor. And you can get that after um, more, 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 logging more. in for 60 minutes. And, and other rewards are pretty nice as well for Field of Valor logging rewards. Is, um, I think almost immediately you'll get the 100% hot time three hours and you'll get the 200% after 40 minutes. You'll get dimensional fragments after 30 minutes and 90 minutes, so that will be nice. And this will be a little bit different than our usual login rewards in terms of like, you used to have that little icon and on, the, on the corner where you just click and just go, you know, accept, 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 accept. But um, this one is going to be actually in the in-game events banner. Yeah, so that one's still going to exist. Yeah. But this one is going to be extra in the events. Yeah, so be sure to take advantage of that. If you've played the game every day for 90 minutes, uh, be sure to go into the event tab and to claim all these rewards because if you don't do it for that day and you go to the next day, it's a restart. As, as unfortunate as that is, be sure to try to go to it and try to claim all the rewards because the rewards are not that bad. It's dimensional fragments and tokens of valor every single day. Not and hot time. And, and just another tip for you guys, if you don't know, if you don't know, when we give out 100% hot time scroll and 200% hot time scroll on the same day. It's all additive. It, it is designed for you to try to take advantage of 300% hot time for three hours. Now you can choose to use 100% hot time for three hours, then move on to 200% hot time for the next three hours. But I honestly think that the best way to use these hot time scrolls is to combine it when we give you guys these opportunities to, to use 100% hot time, to use 200% hot time simultaneously. Yeah. And that will add up to 300% hot time for three hours. So if you guys didn't know that by any chance, uh, be sure to take advantage of that, especially during to uh, Field of Valor. It seems like the perfect place to use it. Uh, every day, just go in there, um, use that, and just try to uh, take a lot of advantage for it. 
So yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for a field of valor event. Let's go to the next slide and look at our next in-game event. Oh, good old December letters. Uh, from our favorite guy, Shakatu. He's doing another exchange uh, event. So you can, get ex you can get these December letters by using ancient gold coins in the shop. Uh, I think this primarily came up uh, with Shakatu complaining to us last Thursday. Uh, he did that to you. Yeah, and, and telling me that, what are you doing, Joel? Um, people aren't coming to the shop anymore. Well, and I mean, he, he kind of caught on. I mean, he's not stupid. Yeah. Shakatu's not stupid, okay? Because he's got to he's gotta give out the goods. No, I know he, he's not stupid. So he, he told me last Thursday, I know what you're doing, Joel. I, I, I know that you're not really giving people a lot of Shakatu coins these days, and that literally results to me having bad business. And I'm, and I'm like, you got me. I'm sorry. I apologized him for um, two minutes. And you? Uh, no, I did, I did, because I mean, I, he kind of caught on to my schemes and like, you know, we, we didn't give away a lot you of... You shouldn't have um, to apologize. I'm, I kind of did for two minutes. It's already too late, so that's in the past. But, but whatever, the, whatever the, the, the past is, it doesn't matter. So, so he caught on and he said, well, you're going to do something about it, Joel. You're going you're gonna to give people more uh, Shakatu gold coins, uh, ancient gold coins, and you're going to bring back my business. That's what he told me. That's what you're gonna do. That's what you're gonna do. Like he, it wasn't a question mark at the end. It was like him telling me what to do, and mm -hmm. like he sort of has the authority to do that to me. So I kind of had to listen. So here it is. So it's December letters from Shaka Two. Uh, we're giving you, uh, we're giving you a reason to go back into Shaka Two's shop. Uh, we're giving you reasons to pull on his shop, and if you get these exchange coupons, you can get some more goodies out of it. So yeah. uh, if you haven't, if you haven't gone to Shaka Two in a while, if you haven't gone out to the city and uh, visited your favorite um, favorite place, uh, this is a good time to do so. So after today's maintenance, go on to Shaka 2, pull for some gears, and then, yeah, it gets an, it yeah, gets an exchange. Standard to other, event, uh, other exchanging events we've done in the past. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. So I know you guys might have missed Shaka 2 because you guys n really didn't have much reason to go see him, and that was sort of intended. But now we're giving you reasons to go back and be interested in him once again. So that's how it's going to work. And I already see some... I already see immense amount of love for Shaka 2 in chat right now. Like nothing like, but positivity. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of you guys changing his name, sort of, um, to which show you, your affection. Which you only do for good reasons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it's to show affection. It's just yeah. show, show affection. Like you don't do that to someone you don't care about. Like you, you care quite a bit about him. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys are very excited for Shaka 2 once again, and I'm glad you guys um, love him just as much as you did at, at all times of how you playing Black Desert Mobile. So, so yeah, go, go into Shaka 2 and um, try to pull and see if you can get some nice exchange items from him. So that uh, ex uh, event will be going on. So next event, if we go to the next slide, uh, this is going to do with a very, very easy to do task for a decent amount of rewards. Yeah, this one's actually not bad. This and is almost everyone should be doing this already. This should not alter your daily routine of how you play Black Desert Mobile. You just gather with workers, and that translates into you send them out to gather something. Uh, not for building. This doesn't work for building, mm -hmm. but it works for going out to the world gathering to get some logging, get some mining, get some forging done, or fishing even. Like some people do fishing. That's a niche department, but <laughs> so, so, <laughs> some people still do that. But uh, just go take them out to gather, just order them. Just tell them what to do and tell them to gather some stuff for you. And once they return, if you have six workers coming back to you on a daily basis, that will give you Ethan's daily camp mission reward. So pretty, pretty easy. And just what the rewards is, it's just it's pretty decent. So be sure to go into the event tab after the maintenance is done and check out the rewards for yourself. So yeah, that's going to be... Is, is this the last slide? I'm wondering if this... Oh, this is not the last yeah, slide. That's not the last slide. Oh, it's a good way to check, though. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> checking with the producers. They know it better than I do. And that was me taking off the screensaver again. Uh, but yeah, this is the... People were asking about, do you have a Thanksgiving event? And I was like, no, I have, I have an event for the day after that, which is Black Friday. The most important day of the year. Yeah. Um, in addition to other announcements that we may make about black friday uh this is something we can announce that was mysterious uh, <laughs> this is something we can announce <laughs> prematurely uh this is going to be happening starting today after maintenance and basically all this is is for you to do just missions 
and obviously you see one of the missions that's written down there is to consume stamina. One of the most difficult, easy things to do. And I believe, unless you're a straight up beginner, um, 200 stamina is definitely doable for most people. And if you are a straight up beginner and your max stamina does not equate to 200, you probably have a lot of stamina potions. And I think this is a good reason for you enough to use those stamina potions to at least spend uh, 200, cons uh, 200 stamina per day so you can get the final rewards for this day, which is Valk's Path 3, which is really nice. Uh, you definitely want to try to uh, use what you need to do to try to complete the daily missions every day. And just as an option, you don't need to do it. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it if you want. The one at the um, bottom. Yeah, the one at the bottom is a daily premium path. You can spend 500 pearls uh, to literally get double, a little bit better than double the, the items and obviously the final reward that does look pretty appealing with the 20 abyssal crystals. You can do that every day if you want. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it if you want. So that is just right there. So I'm going to be focusing on the top half of the not top half of the event, just try to complete all the free stuff that I can get, consume 200, 200 stamina, easy peasy. Just going to do that and just yeah. uh, complete oh, it every single nice day. Too. So yeah, that's going to be, I think, the final event. Let's go to the next slide. And this is probably what oh. you guys have been waiting well for. Then. This is a new type of slide. And then if you guys are in favor, if you guys are in favor of this type of slide on Velia Inn, please tell me yay. Um, write a bunch of things right now. Please tell me yay on, on chat so that um, before you guys have to wait three to five hours before you see what character balance updates happen, uh, I can tell you, I can give you a preview. I give you a preview of what is to come after me. So I, I, I feel like we're getting enough yays for me to do this yeah. on a regular basis now. Yeah, that's almost universal. Th thank you, chat, for your confirmation. So wow, that is impressive. People want it. People want this. Like, they've been wanting this they, for a while. They've been wanting this for a while, and I never really got around <laughs> to it. And I got around to it, and I think people. Oh, are I saw like, one day. You don't have oh, to. Oh, we don't have to do it anymore. Well, out of the 432 yeah. uh, yays we've gotten, we got one day. So yeah. I'll think about it. I'll yeah. think about it. But anyway, so with the jokes aside, th this is what's happening with uh, our most recent class balance update. And this will be applied right away today after maintenance is finished. You'll see this um, being applied. First thing, first thing, Raven, Raven, lots of changes. And, I'm, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's a lot of changes for the Raven. I, I, I'm letting you guys know. Yeah, Joel, Joel had a really hard time getting around to yeah. it, you know, but he put this together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Raven. She's different. Yeah, she's that's different. happening. She's different than what she used to be. What about Archmage, Joel? I, well, I'm not done with Raven. I'm not done with Raven. Oh. I, 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 I was about to say one last thing. That's um, reassuring. One last thing. It's uh, all your Raven names out there. It's a good day for you. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you, it, 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 it's a good day for you. Uh, the Raven changes are more than minimal. Let me, let me tell you, all right? So that's the, that's the changes for the Raven. And obviously for the details, you can check out the patch notes. But I'm letting you guys know at least three to five hours in advance before the actual written patch notes good comes out. Good things are happening. That, that good things are happening for the Raven. So that's happening. Um, so you guys are asking about Raven rework. Rework is a, is a strong that word. That is a very it, strong it, word. It, 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 it's like Raven is not a Raven anymore. I don't know about that far, Raven's but... Raven's still Raven. It's Raven. It's a Raven. We're still going to call her Raven. She's gonna... now, now she's Raven. Oh, that's, that was very strong, too. Yeah. Like, that was probably the oh, lowest... Oh, so she's not Raven. <laughs> oh, God. She's like... You have to do that two times in five seconds. That was like... too, that's too much for me to okay, take. Okay, so there's Raven. Uh -huh. She's not Raven. Oh, she's, shit. She's oh. Raven. That sounded all right. All right. No, not, it, you, heard, you guys heard it here you first. You know what? You heard it here first. She, mm. she's, she's a raven. Mm. Raven. Okay. So, anyway, you'll you'll see in the details when she gets to the passion. But just letting you guys know in advance that the things happened to Raven. All right. The 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 girl next to her, the archmate, something eh, sort of happened to her. It's like eh, it's like eh, yeah, and um. Um, yeah, with all the with all the Archmage fans out there, with all the Archmage mains out there, I know you oh, guys so are... Oh, so much love. So much love for Archmage. Uh, I, know, I know you guys are seeing um, 
and you guys are seeing these um, balance changes week in and week out. And sometimes they don't make you happy uh, because you used to be like one of the strongest characters in the game, and probably you still are, are you, at least. Are you writing her a letter? Um, no, 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 no. Huh. She's a game character, Tim. I mean, yeah. so is Shikado, but you just talked Whoa, to him last okay. Thursday. Whoa, okay, yeah, I did. <laughs> so, sure. <laughs> All right, but yeah, Archmage, a um, little bit of adjustments for her. Not, not a huge, not a huge one, but a little bit of adjustments for her, so be sure to check that out once, you're, uh, once the patch notes do go live. Uh, so that's one of the big, one of the things that happened to the Archmage, and big things happening to the Raven. And another big thing that's not really in the picture uh, is melee classes. They became melee classes. Oh yes, I was reading about this. Yes, this the buff that's coming to the melee classes. Oh, so now these guys are the oh, melee. Oh, they they they're, they're the they're the ones. They're the one. It's solid. It's solid. It's oh solid. man, I looked at it and I was like. Are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, I, I was like, sort of talking to Des, but I wasn't brave enough to tell them myself. But I was like, do you actually want to do this? The, some of the melee classes are pretty popular already, and the people are already liking it's, it. It's a very good survivability buff. Yeah, for all like, melee classes. When they go, her. Now it's like, <sighs> oh, wow, <laughs> that was guttural. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like, that right in the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guttural feeling in the yeah, yeah. Mm. no but, but um, there there it's not the rage it's not the rage but um it, it's something to do to rejuvenate yourself in a way. Um, <laughs> There's Sorry, only Tim. one way Sorry, to rejuvenate Tim. yourself. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Tim. Uh, but uh, I tried to not give it away. But, but anyway, check out the patch notes once it, once it goes live. But the melee classes, it's a good day for you. It's a good day for you, and I think you guys will be happy with that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for today's patch. I believe that's the last slide, right? I